Hallo, wir beschäftigen uns heute mit dem Umbausatz 337156, mit dessen Hilfe man das hintere Kurbelwellenlager von Dichtschnur auf Simmering umbauen kann. Der Umbau ist im Rahmen einer Motorüberholung mehr als sinnvoll, zum einen, weil der Motor dadurch wirklich dicht wird und zum anderen, weil die originalen Abdeckungen nur schwierig zu bekommen sind. Die Anleitung ist von Bill Terry, dem Entwickler des Umbausatzes. Der Film lässt ihn auch ganz original zu Wort kommen, wir haben ihn allerdings deutsch untertitelt. Viel Spaß beim Film und vor allen Dingen viel Erfolg bei Ihrem Umbau. Als kleinen Hinweis schalten Sie möglichst Ihre YouTube-Untertitel aus, sonst werden Sie im Film kaum etwas erkennen können. Tschüss. Hi, my name is Bill Terry. Today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade the rear crankshaft seal your six-owner Jaguar engine. Now it's an easy process, but there's some details in the assembly you want to watch out for to ensure a successful leak-free installation. So let's get started. Before you can begin, the crankshaft must be thoroughly cleaned and the seal area at the rear of the crankshaft must be machined to 2 inch 632 thousandths. Also, if the machine shop does not have a stone small enough to turn this area, it's perfectly okay to remove the oil slinger. Oil on a rotating crank will not go from a high area to a low area. This will work as a slinger also. Before you start to install the rear seal housing, first there are two types. This is the early type. The smooth one is a later type. The early type takes the cork or rubber gasket here and the pan is smooth in this area. The later type is smooth on the seal housing and the cork or rubber seal fits in the pan area here. There's been changes to these engines over the years People have put later model pans on earlier type engines and vice versa. So they are not interchangeable, so make sure you're installing the right seal according to which oil pan you have. If original dowel pins are not in the block, they are provided in the kit with a rear seal housing. Next, we will clean the rear seal area and the back of the seal housing so we have a good bond with a silicone sealer. Apply a drop of Loctite to the bolts because there's no lock washers or uh, holding on them. And pull the bolts down evenly. Next, we apply a light smear of silicone RTV sealer to the raised area that the seal sets on. We do it to the bottom half and also to the top half of the seal area. When installing the seal, the open area that you see, the closed area goes to the outside, the open area goes to the inside, and that way 
any pressure, crankcase pressure, will just make the seal tighter. Make sure that the seal is seated all the way down. And any excess that's sticking out, you want to trim off. The excess that's laying on top of the seal housing, we just cut off. On the bottom half of the seal housing, the opening here is to return the oil to the oil pan. The open area goes to the inside. inside of the seal area. And the seal's ready to install. It's better if you get the crankshaft in the engine before the silicon sealer has a chance to set up and that way it centers itself. Next, lubricate the rear seal area so the seal doesn't bend, get too much heat before uh, you get oil on it. The engine running and set the crankshaft down into the engine. Next, put some silicone on the half, bottom half of the seal housing. Stop any oil leak and just a very, very small amount on the seal itself. Install the seal housing. And put the bolts in with Loctite on them. Pull both sides down evenly. Well, that's our video on upgrading the rear crankshaft seal. Hope it was helpful. We would suggest you view this video several times before attempting the upgrade. That way you'll be completely familiar with the process before you begin. We would also suggest the use of comedic gasket set when reassembling the engine. This should ensure a leak-free Jaguar engine for years to come. Thanks for watching our video. Thank you.